And this is the kind of discussion we need to have. So today I want to talk to you about the top five cheapest loans for a woman to start a business. And we're talking 5,000 from 5,000 to 10 million for a woman led small business. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to speak to talented and ambitious female business owners and female entrepreneurs out there. You have, there are some very cheap loans for you to start a business. And we all know the statistics, the very sad stats that female business owners get rejected for loans at higher rates than their male counterparts, according to research. So the loans I'll be talking to you today about could change that. To be clear, though, there are no business loans just for female entrepreneurs that will be illegal. But some lenders and loans will work better for women-owned businesses than others, and we'll be sure to point out why in our ranking. And so the thing here is that uh, lenders haven't actually come out and explained why so many women get turned down for business loans, but we can make some educated guess. Studies show that women-owned businesses earn less revenue than men-owned businesses, and women business owners tend to have lower credit scores than men, than men business owners, according to research. And since business revenue and personal credit scores are a big factor in uh, loan applications that might naturally lead to women getting denied business loans at higher rates but the good news is that lately we've seen a new generation of very ambitious and very successful business entrepreneurs who are changing trains in the industry so the the the, the thing here is that um Loans are a common way to finance small businesses, but they're just one of your many funding options. If you are a female entrepreneur and uh, you are not able to get uh, to get funding through the five loans I'll be giving you today about uh, I'll be giving you today, there are other ways. You can actually tap into your personal savings. You can look for personal loans, investments from family and friends, crowdfunding, angel investors, venture capital, and grants. Speaking of speaking of grants. There are a couple of grants that we were able to actually unearth in our research, grants for women and some women small business owners. So you have uh, the Amber grant on the screen here. I'm showing you the grant amount is 2K to 25K. This is open to women entrepreneurs. We have the Asian Women Given Circle up to $15,000 open to arts and culture organizations led by Asian American women. You have the Boston Women's Fund. The grant amount is uh, 10K a year for five years. This is open to women-led um, organizations supporting social and economic justice. You have the Cartier Women's Initiative. The grant amount uh, oscillates between 30K to 100K. And this is open, for, open to for-profit early stage businesses led by women. You have the Eileen Fisher. The grant amount oscillates between 10k to 40k this is open to women-led organizations with a focus on environmental and intersectional justice we have the girl boss foundation the grant amount up to fifteen thousand dollars open to women entrepreneurs in design fashion music and arts industries and we have the tony birch foundation grant amount up to uh, the grant amount is five thousand dollars open to female business owners earning at least seventy five thousand dollars in annual revenue now, one thing I want to say is that the, the data I'm giving you today is effective as of April 1st, 2021. At publishing time, amounts and descriptions are current but are subject to change. Offers may, may not be available in all areas. You can also check with your local chamber of commerce or other organizations for small business owners. Lots of grants exist at a local level and they may be less competitive than national grants. So one thing that's very important is that getting working capital for women-owned companies can be challenging, but it's not impossible. Fortunately, there are lenders that offer plenty of options for female entrepreneurs. The five I'm going to give you today are great at that. So you want to go ahead 
and apply for that loan and get that money. Women aren't, by the way, women aren't the only ones who can have a hard time getting funds. We all know that there are, we're actually preparing um, another show on the best loans for minority owned businesses to find the best lenders for minority business owners. But here is something that is very important to increase your chances of approval for in uh, each of the five lenders I'll be talking to you today about. You want to indicate the following in each application. Very important. You need to indicate the following in each application. And what you want to do is you want to attach an explanatory note to the application file. If you're filing on online, you want to type, you want to attach that note. And in that note, there are five things you need to do. Very important. You need to explain that 75% of, of women are in the equity group. 50% of women are in a decision-making capacity at your company. You need to attach the bios of each female leader in the company. You need to show the job description of, of the three highest females in the company. And you need to show that at least 50% of profit centers in the company are led by a woman. Those are five important criteria, criteria rather, to show that this is a, a woman-led business. You need to specify that in the application and you need to also you need to also specify that this is a business loan sought for a woman led startup company. We're going to put the, the actual phrase on the screen so you can see it. This is a woman. This is a business loan for a woman led startup company. All right. All right. Before I get into the actual rankings, please check out this short evaluation video. It kind of shows you our evaluation approach when it comes to categorizing uh, listing and uh, reviewing loans on this show. Check this out. All right, let's jump right into it. Number five, we have Kiva. Our score, 8.5 over 10. Kiva is great for small and micro startup loans. So if you're looking for a small amount and you have a woman-led business, you want to apply with Kiva, you want to apply for a loan at Kiva. This is suitable, the pros, the, the, the pros, this is suitable for startups. There are no interest rates, no credit score requirements no additional fees, no prepayment penalty, and they have great customer support. What about the drawbacks? Now, this is unsuited for large businesses. So if you have a large business or you have uh, your funding options are sort of significant, you can't go to Kiva. And they have a lengthy application process and the typical time to funding, one to three months. So it kind of takes some time. So one thing, I, one thing I want to say here is that um, uh, Kiva US might be the only business crowdfunder in which investors enter into a loan expecting to lose money because this loans have 0% interest and most investors will break even. So the, the thing here you have to understand is that Kiva is a nonprofit micro lender and they have said uh, from the get go that they are very, very adamant at making sure that, that women led businesses increase in the united states and the whole world so they have a specific program for that so when you apply please as i said make sure you specify that, that this is uh this funding is uh sought for a woman-led business so what are the services uh, offered at kiva you they offer crowdfunded micro loans so these are small value zero interest loans that are crowdfunded and on a borrower by borrower basis so while these loans do not have any interest or fees, they are still loans and must be repaid. So if you are wondering how Kiva gets paid, it's through voluntary donations from micro lenders. All right. So the uh, the borrowing amount goes from twenty five dollars to ten thousand dollars. The term length six to thirty six months. Interest rate is zero percent, as I said. Origination fee none. APR zero percent. Collateral none. So this is an uh, this is an unsecured loan. And the businesses that qualify for $1,000, so you have pre-revenue, no online presence, you have to be established for less than one year, and you have to have a limited loan description. Businesses that qualify for $2,000 to $5,000 in loan and funding, 
you have to show some revenue you need to have some basic online presence you need to be established for one to three years and you have to have a compelling story and loan description and businesses that qualify for five thousand to ten thousand you need to have you need to show steady revenue strong online presence and establish for three or more years and you need to have strong references number four we have fondera when it comes to uh some of the cheapest loans for women to start a business fondera is a great source our score nine over ten this is best for large startup loan amounts so the pros and cons the pros you have multiple types of financing available to women entrepreneurs the website's advertising is clear and transparent we love the transparency at fondera the customer service is helpful and we have multiple avenues of customer support and on the cons rates can be expensive and some additional fees are charged now you have to understand that fondera is not a direct lender they were funded in to, they were founded in 2013 so they're basically a business funding matchmaker so much like a loan broker the company does not originate loans instead it matches you up with uh, other business funders you may be uh, qualified for and fondera is very selective about which business founders it partners with while other matchmakers may partner with as many as 50 to 100 direct lenders fondera currently partners with uh, considerably fewer as part of a quality over quantity strategy and they are ch they have chosen lenders who who actually um prioritize lending to female-led companies so this is very important and uh the um, in terms of borrower qualifications you now be, because Fondera works with several different funders, it does not have any specific requirements regarding how long you, you have to be in business, how much revenue you make, what your personal credit score is, or any other business characteristics. One thing I will say is that you just want to apply, you want to put all, you want to, you want to actually um, prepare a great application package. Don't forget to specify that this is a funding sought for a women-led company. And you need to put all the information that I gave you earlier in the uh, in today's conversation, and just have a uh, a great application loan, and a great loan application rather. One thing you have to understand that you have short term loans with Fundera that goes from uh, ten grand to one hundred thousand. They also offer uh, installment loans, lines of credits for women led businesses, equipment loans for women led businesses, SBA loans and uh, the application process is very fast it happens on the internet and uh, you have to uh, don't forget to attach bank statements tax returns and credit card statements balance sheets and profit and loss statements and uh, you also need verification from your landlord if you rent office space and uh, as well as all the, the documents i told you earlier about uh, earlier about the resumes of the the leaders of the company you you need to also uh you you, you need to also show that again you need to attach an explanatory statement that shows that this is funding sought for a female-led business. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, section of the Awesome Sudi Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about the top five cheapest loans for women to start a business. And number three, number three, we have here Loan Builder by PayPal. Our score, nine over ten. This is the best for startup loan transparency. When it comes to uh, the cheapest loans for women to start a business, Loan Builder by PayPal is great. The, what, are the, what are the pros and cons here? pros borrower qualifications are lower than banks you have low credit score requirements no extra fees and the application process is fast and easy and funds gets get dispersed quickly cons not available to businesses in some industries no discounts for repaying early no long-term financing options available and a blanket lien is required you have to understand that loan builder is a direct lending service offered by paypal and they actually build themselves as a quick, easy, and transparent way for women-led businesses to borrow. And the company is based uh, in uh, Delaware with a Utah-based web bank providing the loans. And uh, the company offers uh, short-term business loans to women 
and this is a type of interest-free loan in which borrowers repay a predetermined fixed fee along with the borrowed amount. And while many other business financiers offer similar funding, Loan Builder stands out from the pack for a few reasons. So the loans to women are relatively inexpensive. The female entrepreneurs, the female borrowers don't have to pay an, an uh, origination fee or any other upfront fee. And the borrower requirements are very low in terms of credit scores. And uh, so basically one thing you need to remember here is that uh, there are so that you, you got to have the time. And there are some requirements for the for this loan borrower requirements. So time in business, at least nine months. Business revenue forty two thousand dollars per year and personal credit score six twenty. Now we reached out to a loan builder by PayPal and they actually uh, confirmed that if you are a startup, a startup led by women, you can also apply. Even if you haven't been in business for nine months, you can still apply. Even if you have a, a credit score below six twenty, you can still apply. They will look at your whole, your whole, um, your whole application, and they will make a decision based on the merits of your application. Number two, we have Acción. Our score, 9.5 over 10. Acción, we love Acción because uh, it's best for a variety of startup loans for women. The pros and cons here. By the way, the score, I'm not sure if I already said that, the score is 9.5 over 10. So the pros and cons. So borrower qualifications are lower than going through banks. Financing is available to qualify startups led by women. You have monthly repayments instead of uh, daily or weekly. There is no prepayment penalty and the application process is fast and easy and customer service is helpful. And uh, cons, so rates can be expensive and some additional fees are charged. You have to understand that Axion is a nonprofit company that began as a grassroots organization back in 1961. And they have in their core, at their core, they have a lot of uh, women uh, founders, a lot of uh, female activists that did a great job at uh, founding the uh, this nonprofit. So the the initially the organization uh, Axion actually specialized in offering microloans and financial education to low income communities across the globe. Uh, but since then, they have continued their mission to improve local communities in the United States and abroad by lending capital to uh, startups in general and female-led startups that may, quali that may not qualify for other lending options. All right. So the uh, besides um, women-owned business loans, they also offer veteran-owned business loans, startup business loans, small business loans, salon and spa loans restaurant and food industry loans, Native American business loans, minority-owned business loans, loans for child care businesses, green business loans, food and beverage business loans, business loans for people with uh, disabilities, and SBA loans. You can see that they are very, very, they, they cover the whole gamut. And offerings vary by state, so be sure to check the local loan section to see what's available in your area. And uh, in terms of uh, borrower qualifications, they vary by state also. So the time in business, it really varies. The credit score, the minimum is 550 in some places. And for revenue, you must have sufficient cash flow to repay the loan, either either at a, at a personal level or at the company level. And in addition, you must be no later than uh, 30 days overdue on any bills. You must have had no bankruptcies in the past 12 months. And you have uh, had no late rent or mortgage payments in the last 12 months. The list, of course, this list is not exhaustive. They have a whole constellation of, um, of um, criteria. But the, borrow, the, borrow, the borrowing amounts can actually go all the way to a quarter of a million. So you're looking three hundred to uh, $250,000. And the term length can go from 12 months to 72 months. The, the interest rate can be somewhere from 7% to 34%. And uh, the or origination fee can be between 3 to 5%. Number one, folks. Number one, number one. Our best when it comes to the best, cheapest loan for women to start a business is Lendio. Our score 10 over 10. This is the best overall. And why? They have a lot of pros and a few cons. The, the pros, borrower qualifications are lower than what banks have. You have multiple types of financing available, high borrowing amounts, uh, long-term financing options available, 
female applicants can quickly be pre-qualified. The application process is fast and easy. Customer service is stellar. And on the cons, rates can be uh, very expensive and funds can take a while to disperse. So Lendio is kind of similar to Fundera in, in, the, in the sense that it is a business financing platform that matches customers to funders. So they don't originate the loan directly any loans directly. They have a network of over 300 business funders, including big names such as OnDeck, Amex, Bluevine, and many others. So they are trying to be a one-stop shop design, one-stop shop for financing female-led startups and established businesses. All right. So in addition to, so they kind of offer a um, a wide array of loans to uh, women entrepreneurs. So they have uh, short-term loans term loans, merchant cash advances, lines of credits, SBA loans, equipment financing. And in terms of uh, borrower requirements, they actually, uh, they because they are a, um, a matchmaker, there is no guarantee that you will, they have no borrower requirements. It depends on the final lender. So again, the piece of advice I'm going to give you here is similar to what I gave you with Fundera. You need to put forward your best application and uh, hope for the best. And uh, in terms of time, time in business, it goes from zero to six months minimum, credit score 550 and revenue zero to $10,000 monthly revenue. All right. And one thing you also have to understand is that uh, lend your charges a, a few, a few uh, fees. So you have interest, you have fixed fee origination and administration fees, prepayment penalties and other fees. All right. So this is something you have to be aware of. And one thing you also want to do here, uh, please don't forget, as I said, always mention that the, this funding is sought for a women led business or a women led startup. You need to attach all the documentation I told you earlier. You need to attach that to the application. And the last thing I want to say here is that um, Lend you also, if you are a women led startup, you can also get uh, business line of credits, SBA loans, short term loans, business term loans through Lendio. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to the final session of today's show. I'm really uh, happy you're still around here. Thank you so much for your attention. I'm going to quickly uh, finalize today's show. And uh, the top five cheapest loans for women to start a business. Number one, we have Lendio, 10 over 10. Number two, we have Axion, 9.5 over 10. Number three, we have uh, Loan Builder by PayPal, 9 over 10. Number four, we have Fondera, 9 over 10. And number five, we have Kiva, 8.5 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. Good luck on your uh, on your commercial pursuits and I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.